Hi, I am Ben from the Hungarian Broadcast team and I would like to welcome Matthew Felix from Astralis. Uh, thank you very much for taking your time and talking to me. And I have the opportunity to pick your brain about this week's uh, matchups. Yeah, uh, happy to be here. So, oh, okay. So let's start. Uh, you came to Astralis a bit late and if I can say a tad bit unexpected. Uh, what was behind the switch with you and Nuke Duck? Um, I'm not sure if I can say the reason why, but it was like his own decision to, you know, step down as a player and take a small break. And that's why, you know, they had to bring, bring in someone else. And I think they were having like a bit of a discussion in the team. And I think it was the Escla that like recommended me. So. That's why they decided to take me into the team. And yes, after you debuted, your team won. Do you think that you can keep this momentum and keep going up and up? Also, what do you think Astralis need to win in the future and even compete with teams like G2 or Rogue? Yeah, I think maybe competing against like G2 and Rogue is like uh, far in the future. Like right now, we're just trying to you know, have a good practice routine so that we are like actually, you know, working on improving like uh, like the, the areas where we need to improve the most at, which is like, you know, team cohesiveness and like understanding and being on the same page of like how to play out all the different situations. And I feel like since I joined the team, we have like been making pretty big improvements, like overall as a team. And I feel like if we can keep this like steady progress up, then like, when this summer split comes, maybe we can like contend for a playoff spot. And that's like our goal right now as a team. All right. And do you think that you can manage to help your team and be on this uh, upgoing uh, trend? Yeah, I definitely feel like I can be a uh, like big part of like helping us actually manage to fix all these things. And that's what we are. Yeah, working on as a team right now. And I feel like I'm also like, you know, a pretty good individual player. So as long as I can like perform well in the games, I feel like we have a pretty good shot at actually making playoffs in summer. Okay. Uh, lastly, and this is, I think, a really favorite question from our audience. Uh, you reached Challenger with five different accounts and five different roles. It's hard, hard enough even with one role, but you've managed to do it with five. What does it take to complete such an enormous challenge? And what was your main mindset on doing this? Doing it? Yeah, I think one thing that like helped me is you know, I have a lot of like competitive experience. So I've always like heard, you know, different players like talk about their decision making in the game on all the different roles. So I think that like helped give me an edge of like understanding all the other rules as well. And I also think you know, if you have like really high level of understanding in one role, it doesn't take that much to learn another one as well. But the thing is most players, they don't like put in the effort to actually try. So I think there are actually many like professional players that could do this if they wanted to, but no one is like really interested in the challenge. So I think I was like the first one that tried it and you know, it takes like, you know, it takes a lot of effort and like a lot of time and most people just don't feel like it's worth it because, you know, it, it takes like a month or two to like learn every single role. So like when I first started playing AD carry, I was, uh, you know, hard stuck in diamond <laughs> because I couldn't play the dual lane. I always got killed by the supports, but you know, yeah, that, that I learned that now I'm challenger. And what do you think was the most challenging, if you can say, what was the most hard to overcome? Which role? Uh, I would say it was definitely the, the AD carry role. I was struggling the most there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we are here is we are over and uh, I wish you success for this week's uh, challenges and this week's matches. And uh, hopefully we can have another chat maybe later in the summer spread. Yeah, it would be nice. Thank you.